Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your weekly Apple analysis done after New York has closed for Tuesday the 20th of August. I'm recording this video nearly 7.30 in the evening, New York time Tuesday. A quick recap of my main monthly wave count on a semi-log scale. I expect that this is a big fourth wave correction at cycle degree. When it's done, we'll have the final fifth wave up to end a five wave impulse for super cycle wave one. When we draw a parallel channel around this, draw it from 1 to 3 with a copy on 2 and look for downwards movement to find support at the lower edge of that channel. Cycle 4 may not move into Cycle 1 price territory. Movement below 202.96 would invalidate this main wave count at the monthly chart level and confirm my alternate, which sees Super Cycle 1 over here and a big second wave correction down at Super Cycle degree to take several years yet. But this wave count has a better look and we should be looking at this on the semi-log scale so this has a nice fit. I expect that cycle wave 4 is unfolding as a double zigzag because the 3 joining the two structures of the double in the opposite direction and label primary X is quite shallow. So I expect it's a double zigzag not a double combination because combinations usually have deeper X waves. Let's have a look at this structure on the daily chart with the end of primary W down here. Is this point down here? From the all-time high to this low. For Apple, it subdivides perfectly as a 535 zigzag and I would not want to try and see the zigzag over here. That just doesn't fit. At this point here, we have a three-wave structure up here and this is a series of overlapping sideways movement three-wave structures all subdividing as either zigzags or zigzag multiples, this is a triangle for an intermediate degree B wave, a running contracting triangle. And this is where the C wave begins, and it's now most likely complete as a five wave impulse. The structure, labelled primary wave X, joins the two structures of the double, and itself is unfolded as a regular flat. It's technically termed regular flat because intermediate wave B is just over 100% the length of intermediate wave A, although there's no ratio of equality between A and C, and that's usual for regular flats, but that's okay. It's not unusual, actually, for A and C to not have a Fibonacci ratio between them. Draw a parallel channel around this upwards impulse for intermediate C. Draw it from 1 to 3 with a copy on 2. When this channel is very clearly breached with downwards movement, we shall have trend channel confirmation that intermediate wave C is over, and the next movement down should then be underway. If primary wave X moves any higher, then there's no upper invalidation point. Even, even though this is probably a double zigzag, primary X can make a new price extreme beyond the start of W. In that case, we'd expect that the whole structure would likely be a double combination, but I expect that's really unlikely. I expect it's unlikely we're going to see much, if any, upwards movement from this point, because at this stage, primary wave X is a completed regular flat, and were intermediate wave C to move even higher, it would be even greater out of proportion to intermediate wave A, making this regular flat even more unusual. I have two hourly wave counts for you this week, and I strongly favour the first, so this may be the end of primary wave X, subdividing for intermediate wave C as a nice five wave impulse, with minor waves 1 and 2 complete here, as shown on the daily chart, minor 3 complete here, I expect that minor 4 was a sideways moving barrier triangle, complete here and not down here, and it was followed by a very brief, sharp fifth wave, which is typical following barrier triangles. All the subdivisions fit perfectly on the 5 minute chart, we have a slight overshoot of the AC trendline for the E wave, and the BD trendline is essentially flat. All of the subwaves subdivide into three wave zigzags, or in the case of the B wave within the triangle, a longer lasting double zigzag. So it's all very typical, the subdivision's perfect. If this is the case, then we should be seeing a new downwards trend to last probably months for primary wave Y, which is most likely to subdivide as a zigzag, and the first wave within it. The second wave can't move beyond the start of the first wave above 513.74. I would want to initially see confirmation of this wave count 
with at least one, maybe two, full alley candlesticks comfortably below this trend channel containing intermediate wave C and not touching the lower trend line. That will give us trend channel confirmation that this impulse upwards labelled intermediate C is over and the next movement should be underway. We'll have price confirmation with movement below 471.89. At that stage, the alternate would be invalid. This wave count has nice Fibonacci ratios within minor wave 3, and minor 3 is just a bit shorter than 1, and 5 is really close to 0.236, the length of the first wave. It all has a really good look on the hourly chart. The subdivisions fit perfectly. Alternatively, it's possible minor 3 may not be over here, but could be over up here, although when we do that and we look at this possibility, we lose some of the very good Fibonacci ratios that the first wave count has, so this reduces in probability. We're still seeing a barrier triangle for a fourth wave here, but it may be one degree lower, minute degree. Minor 4 may not move into minor 1 price territory. Movement below 471.89 would invalidate this alternate and so confirm the main. For this one, I'd expect minor 4 would be incomplete, unfolding probably as a zigzag, maybe as a flat, still needs further movement, probably to remain within this target zone of the fourth wave of one lesser degree. And when it's done, this wave count would be confirmed with movement above 513.74. I'd expect minor 4 to find support at the lower edge of this channel. Although this wave count has an odd look, worse Fibonacci ratios, it just doesn't have as good a fit. I strongly favour the main wave count. I expect we may have had a trend change at primary degree, but I want to see it confirmed first with movement below the channel on the hourly chart, and then movement below that price confirmation point, and then we can be more confident that we've had a trend change at primary degree. That's all for me today with your Apple analysis, and I hope everyone had a fabulous week.